hello guys you're welcome to my youtube channel and today i just want to show up this little lecture about how to seal a crosshead cup just like you're seeing on the screen right now all right so these are the cups and i'm just going to give a quick draft on how to cut off the cup space out of the main body all right so this is how you place this and if you have watched my video on this crosshead before you understand what i'm trying to do right now and if you haven't watched it um you can follow the link to watch that particular video okay okay so you're welcome to the lecture and those are all the things you need okay so we're gonna need this material right now to cut the whole crosshead seal as you can see there in four pieces you know on the crosshead seal there's a journey in the middle that's if you're not doing the horizontal kind of crosshead if you're doing the straight type there is one is for one side and the other is for the other side so i have four pieces of this right here and i also have the one I'm going to use for the lining on the inside is also going to be four pieces. Okay, so you're going to need a hemming gum and you're going to need this a ball like this or anything else that you can place this on top of by the time you're doing the pressing. Okay, you know you cannot do this on the, on the flat surface, so you need something to put it on top. So let's quickly start with it. Now, for example, now I'm going to draft out the crosshead seal itself all right i'm going to draft out the crosshead seal all right so this is it if you want to cut out the crosshead seal make sure you don't cover it too much okay it's almost like it is straight okay so you're going to cut out the shape When you cut out the shape you're going to measure this thing okay this thing is not always more than seven inches okay yeah it's seven inches so you're going to extend one inches out here and then under here one inches that is nine inches altogether so trying to measure something like that here once you get the nine inches then you cut the length okay so now you're going to try to notch this place okay so when you notch this place you're going to take it to the sewing machine now you have something like this right now okay so you're going to take it to the sewing machine right now and you're going to sew this place okay so if you want to sew it make sure you don't use um a tiny stitches okay you get why so if you want to do it you need to use a very long stitch so that in case you're trying to place it on top of this thing when you bring it back and it does not really match the crosshead it's okay you can always go back and readjust it okay you can reduce if you want to if if the stuff is puffing out you can always reduce it from here okay so and the reason why i have this notch here is that by the time you place it this way okay i'm going to join it right now if you place it this way and it not work out this way and you turn it the other way around this notch will help you to decide is it is is your cross set supposed to be facing up is it supposed to be facing down okay so if this one right here is the one that matches your cross set right now that means if you want to place the second one on the other second cross set you need to know that the notch are still going to be at the upside okay okay so here we are right now um i have joined this particular one right now you can see the joining in the middle and i matched it with machine that's because i'm trying to put a bias at the center here okay i have a stripe at the center here that's the reason why i did that if there is no such thing there like i'm trying to sew a plain cross set i'm going to have to open here with an iron and make sure it's flat like that as to make it a professional sewing okay so now that we have joined this particular one right now you want to cut a cross set don't try to as in according to my own pattern if i want to teach people how to cut cross it i won't ask you to cut out the shape of it okay you have to allow this excess to be here because of 
any mistake can happen okay if any mistake happen the ss will still be there for you to decide what you want to dream out okay we're going to deal with that later okay this lecture won't take long so right now that you have done this right now if you place this on the ground right now okay and before you do that you have to locate the center of it all right so you're gonna locate the center up here and also you still put it together and try to locate the center here okay so now you have that when you place it like this right now make sure you also position position the center of this place and here to match that center there okay you see it's very flat right now and the stuff is not not squeezed at all so now that you have something like this right now what we're going to do is let me use this particular one that I've placed. so now we have something like this now that you have something like this now is looking okay right now so the downside this is the downside of the cross set so that notch that we're talking about those two notch that we're talking about is at the downside so if you also want to place the second one now you know that this particular notch too is going to be at the downside okay so now this is the downside of your cross set now you bring this particular thing you drop it or whichever one you have then you place this on top of it okay then when you place it you're going to get the hemming gun all right you cut and place at that center where you notch just like that you can make it single or you can make it double okay if you know you trust yourself and you won't have to lose the cross head back again so you can make it double okay then you locate the center the center here and place it on that notch and this particular one too is coming down here okay just as simple as that and if you have something like this right now you have achieved something like this focus on that center first make sure that this notch here and this center and this um, line this journey is okay they are they align each other and also the downside here align each other and then the hemming gum is under it right now so you know the work of hemming gum is once a heat come to it now it's going to melt with the clothes and you cannot remove it again so now that you've done that you're going to iron it to make sure the hemming gum hold the clothes to the corset so this is it you're done with that particular angle you can see it right now okay this is the notch aligned with the joining and this down this one down here also aligned with the joining and those are the two notch that signify the downside of the crosset and this is the upper part of the crosset so you're gonna try to fix the same hemming gum around this um angle now so you bring this thing back and you place the edge you open it again okay when you open the sides now you're going to place hemming gum again okay around that angle all right then you place this again when you place it you're going to iron it also okay so you can see that side is done so you're going to turn it again and do the next side okay this is the last one get the hemming gum and place it here again So you're done with that look at it so now if you place this thing on the ground it looks like this place is not balanced but it's okay that's because the ss is still there so right now that you're done with this now you can now get the scissors focus on the side first okay you're going to cut the edge and leave some allowance like half inch around the downside surrounding the down part of the crosset okay okay just deal with this part first okay so you can see how this is looking right now okay just take it easy don't rush yourself you can try it again and again until you get this right if you're a beginner so now you can see the little space around here is the space that you're gonna need for joining and if you want to join it to the main body you're not going to sew very close to the main corset itself you need to give it a little space also okay just like where the pen is right now just like a little space like that okay so that this thing can really balance and this thing will be kicking the edge of this place 
okay so look at the upper side right now you have to leave like one inch allowance not like the half you're leaving here you're gonna leave one inch allowance there okay leave a lot of excess in case of any mistake you can always adjust all right so you leave this one inch allowance right now and you can see how it is okay you see how it is right now so this is the landing okay when i cut the landing that particular notch on this particular one then when i was cutting them alongside i also notched the landing okay so right now what we're trying to say is that this particular one right now the way the landing is right now you don't need anyone else to tell you before you know that this is the downside of the landing so you're going to place it like this on this thing bring this one forward this is the center try to merge here with the landing the center of the landing also and also merge this place with the center of the landing then you place it right once you you've, you've done that you remove this thing from under and place it on the floor you can see it's sitting right inside the landing then you can put hand here and reset the inside then you're going to cut it round you do the downside first so this is it okay you're done with it this is the outside of it and this is the landing on the inside okay so you're gonna sew the landing to the landing of the body and the main um crosshead here to the main um material of the body okay so by the side of it these two sides you're going to like for example notch one side okay if you notch this side on this particular crosshead right now if you notch this little place right now on the other crosshead you're going to notch this side which is to show that when you want to place this thing the notch will be facing each other okay so i hope you can use this pattern we use to make this one crosshead right now to make the other one okay because they are all the both crosshead are the same thing so you're going to follow the same way to do it so now let's come to the main body right now this is the main body of the crosshead okay this is what i cut as the introduction of the video the first time okay you can see it right now so by the time i open it up this is what it looks like all right sometimes when you cut this crosshead you can see this here right now if you want a space to be between the crosshead you can fix the crosshead from here to here and this space will still be here if i don't want this space to be there i can start the crosshead from there and they will be very close to each other okay and the reason why you have to space crosshead sometimes is because it's when you are sewing for someone that is really busty and they have the measurement their bust measurement is big like this the measurement is up to like 45 46 and the crosshead cup if you want to bring them close to each other you might not get the wideness of the nipple so you space them from each other that's the point of having a space sometimes but if you want to readjust a crosshead cup for someone who is an average measurement that you can get at least nipple measurement of eight or seven you're going to bring the crosshead close to each other okay so let's quickly get into this right now this particular one that you see right now you see i told you to notch this place okay so you see this notch right now this is let me remove the landing this is to show that this crosshead is going to be here okay and the notch is here right now so on the other crosshead that i did i also notched this side okay i notched this one on this side and i notched this one on this side this is to show that this particular notch is going to be here okay so this is what this crosshead looks like right now the point of this um line looking this way it's almost like they are going head to head so it's because of how i choose to position the angle i choose to position this particular one this is how i choose to do it okay so if i want to readjust it and make it even straight i can still do my crosshead letter and make it straight okay if i want to adjust it any way you can do it if you want to readjust it anyhow you want it you can always do that on the crosshead so this particular video is not to show you how to make crosshead um top if it's for that i'm going to go into full details but this is just to show you how to seal this particular thing because a lot of people have been asking me and i know i'll be referring to referring them to some youtube channel but maybe if i try something too someone else might understand my explanation 
a little bit more than someone else so that's the reason why whatever video others have already done on youtube i will always try to make my own too whenever i have a little chance to be on youtube so this video is going to end here and you might also be wondering why is it that um on cross set some people used to divide this side and you know create a little dart around there and i didn't do that on this that's because this particular cross set that i'm making right now is not a full cross set it's actually a peplum blouse okay so by the time i finish so many cross set now there's likely a chance that the half cut will be around this area so there's no point of dividing the front okay this is it i love you guys so much so the video ends here Thank you very much.